The flight may have just been 16 kilometers from takeoff to landing, but those four minutes made history around the world. That flight was just like flying a beaver, but it was a beaver on electric steroids. The CEO of Harbor Air, Greg McDougall, was behind the controls of his electric float plane and compared it to driving a Tesla. The electric motor is almost instant torque. The 1956 de Havilland Beaver has been retrofitted with an electric propulsion system provided by Washington-based Magnix. The operating costs of an electric aircraft are anywhere between 50 to 80 percent cheaper per hour. Fuel is way more expensive than electricity. A normal float plane is noisier, not to mention smellier, with all that fuel. This is the quieter electric version, minus the emissions. Sustainability really is driving all of this. Uh, aviation knows that we have to become more sustainable uh, as a group. He's actually coming past us right now. The e-plane revolution has begun, albeit for short hauls. In 2015, the Airbus all-electric twin propeller successfully crossed the English Channel. Then in July 2019, Israeli firm Aviation launched its prototype Alice, a commercial all-electric passenger aircraft expected to travel 650 miles by 2022. Magnix is behind that venture too. It's not a race, all right? We're all, it's a herd of horses running. Uh, the Harbor Air uh, Beaver is the first one to do it. Uh, the Alice will be the first ever electric aircraft designed from scratch. The range of Harbor Air's electric plane is 160 kilometers. The plan is to convert its entire fleet within two years, depending on approval from Transport Canada. In 10 years, you're going to see such a transformation in transportation that um, I will hope you remember back to this day. That future may already be upon us. Robin Gill, Global News, Richmond, B.C.